Well, welcome back, everybody. Today I'm taking a look at something which is unfinished, but is coming soon. Uh, this would be the new Star Made Launcher, version 12. Um, and in the background, I'm joined by Schema and Calberry. And Hello. This, and this here is the install settings path. So what I've tried to do here is I've just changed it to something new. But it does actually automatically scan, find my uh, install, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, you can choose the uh, branch. So I've already chosen the correct branch. So let's see what happens. Uh... <laughs> and there it goes. Look at it go. You can even see, look, it's downloading Java files and, and driver link libraries. And malware. Wow. <laughs> and now, there is, there's no malware. It's fine. <laughs> but look at the size. The game's 282 megabytes now. That's just uncompressed. It's pretty... But the, oh, the, is it? the difference oh. is that uh, if you update your game, you will just download the files that have actually changed. Oh, so you don't... Ah, oh, nice. We've moved over to a system that only updates you know, when you are... The, the files that have changed. Yeah, so... Like so you're not going to be downloading... Not an FA to any textures. You won't download those, those textures. Oh, that's amazing. So you'll only Which, update the few <laughs> files that have changed. For mm. example, for a hotfix, would I only make the update uh, 13 megabytes? I'm turning and this music can down. even... Um, Cut that down to about 15. Nice. Do you know what? We need to get at least one star made picture in the background right here. I've got so many, I'll just chuck that one there and see what it is. Hmm. The other new there go. thing you can do is after it installs, you can hit the options and repair and just choose another version and it will just download the differences from the currently installed to your version that you have right now. Uh, yeah. So you can back roll really easily. Yeah. So if you update to, you know, version 0.18 but the server's still running on 0.17, you want to play on the server for a while, you can back roll it to 0.17 and go play. Okay, I'll check that um, out in it, just a it, sec. Schema, awesome. am I correct in assuming that ships made in a higher version may not be compatible with a lower version, right? If it's saved in the higher version, then it's probably not a good idea to use them. Uh, but for a quick back roll or just uh, playing on multiplayer servers, it isn't a problem at all. Hmm, this new launch is really nice. Sexy! New buttons. So we got community news. Let's have a little let's just let's just expand this back up again so we can have a good look here. Okay guys. So what we've got for you. And if you're not watching in HD, you really should be at this point. Right. So community Star Made News, Star Made Forums, Star Made Reddit. We all know where that's gonna go. Okay. Uh, help, we've got download problems, Star Made Wiki, Star Made Server List, and Star Made Support Chat. And then under options, we've got installation settings, memory settings, mirror settings, server port, and download the newest launcher. So you can force yeah, the launcher to the, update. Exactly, that's the new thing that the launcher actually is able to update itself. And what it has to do is uh, download the new launcher, then uh, step out of the old launcher because you can't replace a file if it's actually open. Then the new launcher will download the file and replace the actual and then start the launcher again so it's, it's pretty convoluted but it works if you do it right okay, now so if you we hit... replace your launcher with the, with the old one since oh will it if version, i go back a version yeah, the new yeah it'll, right, it'll okay. revert you to nine uh which i have to so if i up to 12 to the version 12 so if i the... yeah but but in future it'll just be a case of coming in here and picking it yeah, it would just say, uh, is that... your launcher is not up to date, do you want to update? And then you click OK, and then uh, 30 seconds right. later, you have Let... the newest launcher. 
All right, let's 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 put this one to the test, shall we? Let's go let's go deep, shall we? Shall we go deep into the matrix? Let's do this. Installation settings archive. Ha ha ha. Ah. It doesn't have any releases, uh, so it Ah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's just yeah. it's not <laughs> the index file for the specific versions. Uh, that oh, cool we were going to take it. Has, yeah. has a lot of more versions. It also has a newer version as you are right uh, okay. now. Okay. So All you right. can uh, nice. change to the dev branch but, and then you should be able to done. Hit install the latest version or hit options and repair and just go from there. Of course, no one could see what I was doing because I have to re share the screen so what I've done there guys is I've changed it from release to dev and then we're gonna put it back so update correct or should I go to options and it'll say it so download uh, normal update and install latest version will, will go to the latest version and options repair will actually be able to um, select the version you want to have so we've got and all of the dev versions also if you get a download so error right one. now um, there is the option to just uh, hit normal download and it will just repair the mm. version you're on as all the files that are corrupted will be re-downloaded without the files that okay. are not corrupted so if uh, in process of downloading which was an, a common problem on the current launcher that Create people backup. get check some error or uh, something like that uh, and you can just hit that and it will just download the new file so eventually <laughs> you will get the, the best version and it uses the backup. It back. I just said it. It asked me if I wanted to back up the database or everything. So can you explain yeah. that for people for me? Yeah, the back backing up the database will just back up the server database uh, folder. So you just have your own universe backed up and backing up everything. We'll just take the whole folder and put it in the zip file. Nice. So it's a little bit faster. I've noticed. I've noticed that upgrading to dev from that version is only a 31 meg download. <laughs> exactly, since it's only the, the, the Brilliant. file and a few configs. Yeah. Um, the new, the new, um, the new uh, dev version has uh, tutorials in them if you want to check them out. It's basically a system where the tutorials are outside of the program itself. It, they are um, posted in um, XML files. so. Everyone that wants can add new uh, tutorials, which then can be selected in game and viewed, and they can even be interactive with pictures. Nice. So here we have the memory settings, everyone. So this is what I usually do. It seems to have remembered my settings. So that's yeah. what I'm running on whenever I run the game. It seems fine to me. Okay, so what do we got else? What else? We've got mirror settings, so I don't need to worry about that. The mirror Serve settings port, are also not changed. Which is 4242, that's fine. So everything else we've done. So, let's start the game. Okay, and screen region, boom. So we're going to go local host. Do you have a server running or? I'm just, uh, just going to go into single player for this just to jump in and do that. I don't have a server running yet. <clears throat> okay, but. Since you selected local host and multiplayer, it probably won't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah, yeah, I should have hit the button first. We'll do that. <laughs> You're right. Let me see. Boom. 